Um, our first date was during the peak of COVID, actually, and we had just met on Hinge. And then we spent our first date at Target the whole time with masks on. It was pretty hard to drink Starbucks that time, but uh, yeah, and then we, uh, we walked around there and then we sat in the uh, toilet paper aisle because it had been cleaned out and we just sat and talked for hours. first meal that she made for me was salmon and asparagus. Uh, I remember that that was the first time I realized that she really, really enjoyed seafood as well. First movie we saw was A Knight's Tale. It was at my old apartment because it was still during uh, COVID. So then that pretty much led off to a huge movie suggestion list that we're still trying to conquer two and a half years later. <laughs> I remember her telling me that she loved me first because it was at my old apartment <clears throat> and I got up from the desk to go use the restroom and she goes, I know this is kind of soon, but I love you. And I was like, well, that's how I knew she was the one. Hopefully buy me a new car. That's what I'm hoping if she won the lottery. But if that's not the case, then I know that she would really put it towards us getting like a house and bills and really just being very gracious with the money. What scares Rachel is aliens, and she has a just an unrealistic fear of being abducted. <laughs> so every once in a while I'll turn on an alien movie just to see if she's not lying to me about being scared. Right, the phrase that I get the most, it has body motion to it, too. It usually starts with her back to me like this, and then she goes, I'm emotional! I'd say just her overall compassion for others. She's nice to even the weirdest strangers, I guess, but uh, that and her love for her hobbies. It's, there's nothing quite like seeing her eyes light up when she's excited to do something. Well, there could be a lot, but I'd have to say understanding, compassionate, and supportive.